let's go to 1997 for Wishmaster. A uh, summary for this film, a demonic djinn attempts to grant its owner three wishes which will allow him to summon his brethren to Earth. Directed by Robert Kurtzman, uh, mostly known as a special effects guy. He's the K in K&B effects. And uh, he paid... <laughs> One of the things I've, I saw in the trivia for him was that uh, he paid Taren, Quentin Tarantino $1,500 to adapt uh, Dust Till Dawn into a screenplay. So he had written this story and he paid Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> such a, That's a small amount of money because at that time, mm-hmm. Tarantino was... What he had, Pulp Fiction was out, right? Like, was Dust Till Dawn before? Well, I think they were. I think they were dudes, uh, like they yeah. were buddies. Oh yeah, probably. He, I mean, his cre- his his credentials alone are insane. If you hmm. just look him up, uh, yeah. this f- was written by Peter Atkins, who's known for the Hellraiser sequels two, three, and Bloodline. Um, and this play, this movie is chock full of people. Like, there's so many cameos and stuff in this, starting with Angus Scrim as the narrator of the film. Yep. Uh, Robert England gets to play a human being called Raymond Beaumont. Uh, Ted Raimi's uh, smashed to bits mm-hmm. in it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dan Hicks was in this, but I didn't see him. He was a custom official. Did anybody catch him? I did not see him. I'm not sure who that, who is I'm Dan Hicks. Sure Danny is. Hicks from Evil Dead Two. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Bobby Joe oh, and him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Vern Schroyer was in this. I believe he is the first incarnation of the Wishmaster <laughs> when it's wow. like crawling oh, it's on the crawling, floor. Yeah. I do. And uh, oh my god! Uh, of course, you have George Buck Flower in this. He's from They Live and uh, numerous other things. The fog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Reggie Bannister plays a pharmacist. Uh, Kane Hodder is a guard. Tony Todd uh, plays. Yeah, hold on, though. let me just say, I like. I don't know. This is the first movie. Okay, first of all, this is the first time I watched this movie. Oh. Second of all, I think this is the this is the first time where they really show how short Kane Hodder really is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. they even re- they even go- even get- they call him like a little short man or something in in the yeah. movie. <laughs> but yeah, I- he looks huge in you know in other movies and mm-hmm. just a little short dude. Yeah, um, is he real? How how tall is he? He, I mean, he's foot something, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, maybe six. Not. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, sure. <laughs> downward angles, <laughs> right? right, right. <laughs> Tony Todd plays Johnny Valentine and you get to see Tom Savini pop in at the pharmacy scene. Uh, he's a customer. Um, so, I mean, it's chock full of stuff. Uh, I thought Wes Craven had, was more involved than what he, uh, I thought he directed this film for whatever reason, but he's just a producer. Um, executive uh, producer. I think he just took yeah, the money for it. Probably. Oh yeah. But um, I did start looking, I did start going kind of down a wormhole with this movie and like, uh, there's, even besides the actors, like the um, the, the crew, like I, I started going down to their their filmographies, and like everyone has done. A, oh yeah, uh, just a bunch <laughs> of horror, like classic horror movies, like even like the the uh, the, the DPs and stuff like that. I worked mm-hmm. on Elm Elm Streets, you know, with Wes Craven and stuff. Like it just yeah, like, yeah. everyone was really talented. That was a part of this movie. Yeah, they loaded it up with talented people. Um, even even with the score, you got Harry Manfredini back again. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And when it's not his music, it's some sort of '90s style cock rock. I don't really enjoy. <laughs> some of it's not really that great. Um, uh, the The best thing about th- this movie and the seek the se- the first sequel, part two, is Andrew okay. Divoff or Devoff. How do you say his name? Uh, the I guy that plays. Devoff, he plays yeah. the Wishmaster. Um, I love it when he's in his human form. I, I he's so slick and like I love he's his like voice. The the, the way, I, like I wish I could. Yeah, I wish I could do his voice though. Like, what? Uh, uh, what do you want? Uh, or what? Uh, you know, like. <laughs> Uh, and the special effects are, of course, great. Could be it's yeah. can be. Um, 
the opening scene, there's tons of wild shit. A skeleton pulls itself out of a guy's body. That's great. That looks <laughs> great. I mean, you could tell. You could tell he was. He's all about effects. Like, this. oh yeah. You could um, tell he he done his homework. I mean, they spent so just the guy that's a snake. There's a guy that's like transforming into a snake that had to have taken hours and hours and hours. Yeah. And he's only like, what, two minutes in the fucking movie. Um, they the, probably stopped all projects for this one. Yeah. yeah. It's this movie is written really well too. Like the interaction between Reggie Bannister and Buck flower is <laughs> so funny. It is such a great uh-huh. uh, back and forth. And uh, you know, Reggie dies pretty quick, but uh I uh, the you know the when he, when Andrew Divoff or Devoff or whatever does these um, like monologues, it's it's what he's all about. The Wishmaster is more about monologues than anything else. <laughs> There's whenever he's he super villain. Yeah, when he has the <laughs> after he kill he kills Reggie Bannister and then he has this interaction with Buck Flowers because he's the one that wanted him dead. Uh, and he just runs off and while he's running off he says this whole thing and i wrote it down uh run insect run and tell those you will what you will tell them there is something loose in their city something which feeds on wishes and this dude's fucking all the way down the street. <laughs> and then he takes a he's long so <laughs> he takes this long drag off the cigarette and then he comes back and tell them quickly while you still have a soul <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's all the way two blocks down before he's even done. Um, <laughs> some shots uh, in this movie really seemed like they were pulled right out of a late night Skinamax softcore uh, thing. Though, like it, it, all of them, kind of have that. I think. Like, I don't know what it is. Like a, a suspense kind of a sexy suspense kind. Of, ooh, they're making love <laughs> or whatever. Um, but it, I mean, I looked up the the cinematographer and his credits include nightmare on Elm street nightmare on Elm street Two, shocker mom and dad save the world silence of the hams um, all these things that i like um silence of the hams have you ever seen silence of the hams no <laughs> it's I uh it's satire it's like mel a mel brooks kind of movie um yeah but i love seeing the wishes go sideways um the police station scene is fantastic uh Watching this guy manipulate people is so entertaining. Um, and there, I'll be honest, man. There's so many cigarettes in this movie. <laughs> it was like triggering my like vape habit. I'm like, oh, God, they're fucking everyone all the time. Um, and Tony Todd was like, I thought he shined in the few little m- moments he had as mm-hmm. Johnny. He put a lot of mustard on that um, character. Yeah. And um robert england's party scene huge highlight in this movie uh there's so many practical effects that are great there's some questionable cg but overall it's like a rock show sequence at the end um robert england like vomits up this um thing uh i don't know what it is but it's weird as fuck um a guy gets his face smashed smashed in with a mace which is <laughs> uh really stylized um I, I give this a nine out of ten i like it a lot it's one of my favorites um who's next john yeah wishmaster this is one i saw when when it came out i really liked it a lot um i remember the fangorias leading up to it it's like never before has freddy jason gay man <laughs> And oh, yeah. I think it was, was it, and I thought there was someone else like, and it was like, never have they died on the same screen. <laughs> See, Wishmaster, you know, and I was like, oh, shit, <laughs> let's do it, you know, um, and. So was you disappointed? Oh, no, <laughs> I loved it. It was I mean, it's, it's, it sounds better than what it actually is. <laughs> no, I mean, li- it was way awesome when I was younger. It's a little bit not as awesome now, but it's still it's still really cool. I'll I will watch I will voluntarily watch it. Um I love the Angus Scrim monologue. I'm a huge Phantasm fan. Um so anytime I can hear him, it his voice is really cool. Uh Joe Pilato was uh the drunk guy, the drunk crane operator. He was 
uh, Captain Rhodes in uh, Day of the Dead. Oh. Super brief. Super brief. Um, what was that? What when they when uh, the chicks uh, friend zone guy when he was killed. The cop exa- examining him. What did he say? He said, "Computer malfunction must have been a hell of a computer." I was like, "Well, the <laughs> dumbest lines I ever heard in my life." But it was well, so yeah. I don't know what that computer. That's that '90s computer science that you see so often. Mm. Oh, we got a gym. Uh, well, put it in the laser beams, and then of course the readings will come back on our IBM side. <laughs> right. Exactly. Um, but yeah, this is, this is really, this is a real good horror movie. Uh, Andrew Devoff, he is really cool. I've liked him since, uh, I think the first movie I saw of his was Graveyard Shift with the big, with the rats Mm -hmm. and the bats. All right. He was, he was a cool crony in that. Um, uh, he's just, he's got a, he's got a screen presence and he's super, like, like Frank said, he's super slick. Like he could like that chick, the 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 um the uh, was store clerk. The girl, she was smoking hot. Mm. Like she and she was like she had the vapors. You know, she was like, ooh <laughs> shit, you know. Like she was she was getting the vibe off of him. Um, it was he, like he walks into a room. He he commands he commands the room. Mm. He's a he was a really cool dude. Uh, to pick to play the human gin. Um, the mass chaos at the end. Loved it. Uh, it. Reminded me, I can't remember which came out first. What year, what, what year did this come out? This was, uh, let me see here. 97. 97. I think didn't Ven Horizon come out before it. I don't know. I have not seen that. No, nah, but you know what? <laughs> they it came, they came out the same year. I must. I think I saw Event Horizon first. Yeah, we'll address that at a later date, Frank. <laughs> Sorry, Wait. man. No, uh, a- this is this is a solid nine of a film. Um, I pretty much covered everything. It, the, it's an effects film. It's by an effects guy. This so is did, why you did watch he the did movie. he was he hands off or was he hands on 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 the effects? Did he just he direct, or was it. he... He probably supervised it. <laughs> he probably he got, got his hands studio. in there. Yeah, I'm sure he got his hands in there when he had to, but he was directing a movie. He's like, this is why, I, this is why I'm a third of this studio. You know, it's like all yeah, of you right. people, interns, students, I don't give a fuck. Get in here and make this snake guy for me. Yeah. Make this skeleton Harry housing itself out of this guy's skin. That was a badass effect. That is so great. Super pup, like a great puppetry to make that thing work. No CG. They could have CG'd it and it could have been bad. Like, mm-hmm. it was, it was, a, it was a really good effect. I yeah. The CG is all al- the bad. Sometimes the CG is almost criminal. Like <laughs> whenever. But, came- it was so, but it was so <laughs> early. I mean, you know, so early in, in the CG yeah times you know what i mean like every all but, of it none of like, it was redeeming like, like the kane hodder when he dies he shatters <laughs> and it's like yeah. it looks like a, what, oh, a yeah. one of those 3do's like a <laughs> you know like the intro to the 3do yeah something like that but um jason yeah uh so again first first time watch um and when i was going down through it and seeing all these names that were there were involved with it, it, it almost <laughs> I almost felt kind of ashamed that I haven't watched this movie yet. Uh, I don't have I, are any of the sequels worth worth watching? Two's I like two better than one, I think. Um, really? What yeah. is it after is, they release after this, two, is it a three pack? Four like pack. Through, oh, I, four, I have yeah, a four, yeah. yeah. Is that all of them, or is there? Yeah, more I think so. I th- th- unless they made a five, they might have made a five. Um, well, it might have been like a sci- sci-fi channel original. Four <laughs> is four is like bare. It's worth watching after you've because they set up a formula. Like it's always the same thing. It's like he's trying to get these three wishes granted. So is he, it the same guy? Is it 
In the first two, it is. Yeah. Three, I think, is still. Three is still worthwhile. Four, I have never seen. So I've. Don't you have? Do you have have these? Uh, Yeah, I've got the whole set, but I haven't watched four yet. (laughs) But is this part of the Vestron collection? Yeah. Okay. I yeah, I can sort of see the the cover. Um, Well, I I should I should have already known all this because when when I finished this movie, I. it was good enough to where I wanted to buy it. Uh, the, the effects are out of this world. They just knocked those out of the park. And it's just, I, I like the character, I, uh, both mm-hmm. of them, the human side and his, mm-hmm. they're, they, they look good. They sound good. The sound design, mm-hmm. the sound production on this sounds great. Um, and it, it also helps that uh, I have window air conditioners. And when, when I watch this, this is why I like the first, first time, you know, since last winter that I haven't watched a movie with this loud ass air conditioner going right. on. So I was able to actually hear everything really well. And, uh, yeah, I, I would, I would say I give this an eight. And if you say you know, two, two is even better or as good, I'll, I'll probably be picking this collection up. I reckon. Yeah, it. It's definitely fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the CG stuff is bad, but it, yeah. it's also nice to, to kind of see, look back. The evolution. On. Oh, yeah. yeah. It definitely it's, kind of it's kind of fun. Yeah. Like, I can, uh, like, there, I don't know, 10 years ago, if I would have watched that, I'd been like, this movie, this piece of shit movie, look at these effects. <laughs> now I could, now I can sit and watch it and appreciate <clears throat> yeah. you know, where it got yeah. started. 